Hey guys, my name is Paxton. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna teach you how to surf, dude. Well, not really surfing surfing, but surfing the internet. I mean, yes, of course, we all know how to surf the internet and all that, but how about your bookmarks? Are they completely boring or do you not even use them? Probably. Um, so I'm gonna take you from uh, very boring bookmarks to something outstanding. So here I'm gonna show you on the screen. Uh, when you probably go to uh, open up a new tab, you probably see what your this screen here where you've got your most recent websites and then you you can bookmark of some of your things and it ends up on the top here. Uh, you might have little file folders and that are very text heavy, um, but I'm gonna take you from that to this. Um, it's basically a very similar experience to what you have on your phone, but it's actually better because you can customize the logos and the images and the buttons and all sorts of things to suit your preferences. And you can also have different uh, uh, files and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take you from this old way to this new way um, using Speed Dial 2. Uh, it's a Google Chrome extension. Um, so a lot of you probably don't know that uh, Google has a web store. Um, so uh, to get this going, uh, there's gonna be five steps and I'm just gonna briefly highlight those before we jump right in. Uh, but basically we're gonna go to the Google Chrome web store to start. We're gonna find this extension, which is called Speed Dial to, uh, which is uh, going to open up all sorts of new doors for you and make the internet a lot more fun again. Uh, then we're going to start bookmarking things, and then I'm going to show you how you customize the settings and how you can customize the bookmarks to look how you want them to, um, and then show you a few more features, and then we'll back it up at the end as well, just so you know you've, you can uh, save this kind of stuff. Uh, there is a paid version of Speed Dial 2, but what I'm gonna show you today is actually all the free stuff that you can do without paying. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna go to Google Chrome's web store. So you just look up Google Chrome Web Store. And we're gonna click on the first link that shows up. Actually, this is the apps link, so I wanna actually click on the extensions, which is one of the options there. So we're gonna be searching for the uh, Speed Dial 2. And it's gonna be the first one that shows up. There is one below it called Speed Dial, which obviously was the first version of this, but Speed Dial 2 will be the most recent. So just click Add to Chrome. And it's gonna run us through a few um, kind of options. And we're just gonna make sure we just confirm that we wanna add the extension. You can easily remove the extension if for some reason you don't want this. All right, and here it's just highlighting that this lightning bolt is gonna be our main way of bookmarking things. All right, so it's been installed, and when I click on the new tab, uh, it's gonna welcome me to Speed Dial 2. There is a little tour here that you can go through that highlights some more of the features, but I'm just gonna skip the tour for now because that's I'm giving you the tour this way. Um, it's gonna let you pick some of your, your favorite uh, websites, um, and you can add them right to your Speed Dial as they call it. Um, so let's just do that. Click your Gmail, YouTube, uh, Amazon, Facebook, and then we will move on. So let's click finish. Uh, it's gonna ask you to create an account. You don't have to do that. So let's just continue without account. And here are the your first bookmarks. Um, but let's let's just jump into one of like our, our a website that you like to go to often. So I'm just gonna click on tvo.org because that's a site that I like to go to. They have all sorts of video on there and all sorts of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit this um, lightning bolt option and we're gonna bookmark this website. So here it says save to home or I can create a new group. So for now I'm just gonna save it to home and then I'm gonna click open another new tab because it needs to refresh. And then here is our this new website in this area here. Um, so what we're gonna do is, um, I, now what I can do is click on this and it'll take me straight to um, the website, right? That's a bookmark. Um, but 
The bookmark is a picture of the website. So I actually, that's fine, it's, it's okay, it works quite well, but I actually wanna change that to just the logo. So I can go in here and edit this bookmark. And um, you can edit the name and you can obviously update the URL. But in this area, it says customize the thumbnail and I'm gonna add an image URL. So I'm gonna actually go search in another tab for TVO logo. And it usually the images will show up right away, but you can also click into Google images. And we're gonna pick uh, one of these logos. So you can pick um, you know, your favorite logo. So I'm just gonna take that one. And what you do is you click on visit, uh, or either visit page, or I would actually, sorry, click view image. And it's gonna take you to a dedicated page, which is just the image. And it's gonna have its own official URL at the top there. And you're just gonna copy and pay, copy that. And we're gonna paste it back over into our um, URL section. And we're just gonna click save. And there you go. So now we've got the TVO logo uh, in our bookmarks, which is really cool. Um, now, I showed you that you can go to a website and just hit this little um, lightning bolt and that will be a way to bookmark it. You can also add them one by one from this option here. It's a, a, the plus sign. And you can just manually type them in. So if I wanted to add Facebook, Facebook's uh, URL, could do that and then see it already did that, and then I can go through the same process. And so here it defaults and gives you kind of a screen grab of, of what Facebook looks like. So that's totally fine. Um, so let me, now, now you know how we can uh, customize the bookmarks. There are some additional settings. Um, so you'll see in my, my thing here, I've got four columns. So if you wanna change that to four or five or six, you totally can. Um, if you want to change the spacing on those logos or images, you can. You can change the width. And there's a few other ones. So let's just click on more options. And then here, this is a really, this is basically the main panel here. Um, you can pick a theme, a background for your uh, browser. So that's kind of fun. So let's just click on... Um, on this one, the space one, and see it automatically changes it behind. Um, you can add a sidebar, uh, you can uh, show your applications, your Google applications, if that's something you use a lot. Um, and then you can customize the appearance. Um, you know, there's a bunch of things. Uh, one thing that I, I do want to highlight is if you want to um, show the, where is it? You can hide the text, the name of the, the website if you want. Um, also here, there's this one here, it's called open links in a new, new tab. I like to do that just because it's easy to jump back to, um, to the kind of main interface and you can just use that as like your hub or your speed dial. Um, you can also highlight the most visited pages. You can check stats and all sorts of things. Um, and you can hide things and whatever. Uh, I'm trying to still find the, uh, I guess it's under customize appearance. This must be where it is. So show title of bookmarks. So you'll see here, I have it on. So I'm just gonna go back and, and save this so you can kind of, we can refresh. Um, can refresh this. So now it's got the four columns, but let's, and you'll see how it has the, the text down here, which can be useful uh, if you're, especially if you're not like customizing and adding the logos. But if I go back into um, the more options in the settings area, and if I go back to, uh, what was it? Customize appearance. If I want to hide, it says show title bookmarks. Let's turn that off. And now I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna go back, and now here you see, you're just gonna see the images. So it's, it's cleaner, um, but it's not as descriptive. So it's up to you. Um, so now, uh, basically we've kind of gone through everything. The last thing I wanna show you um, is, well, I, two last things I wanna show you. One is, 
one thing I like to do uh, is, is create uh, different groups. So I have these different folders. And so you might have like a research project or a video, like maybe you wanna just have a pay place where all your videos go or all your magazines go or like newspapers or whatever. I have one called Media Routine, which is where like I, on every, every weekend, I, I like to go to certain websites or, or watch certain video recaps or whatever it is. So that I just put that all into the media routine folder and that's kind of fun. Um, I have my home button, which is all kind of main websites that I go to frequently. Um, but I also have a bunch of other folders and it's kind of fun to keep organized and to keep adding and adjusting and playing around. Um, there is the odd glitch in, in the system. So if you wanna move like, your um, logos around, you can, but sometimes they'll you'll lose one, so you have to re-add it. Um, so just be very careful about when you start dragging and dropping these logos to to be to put them right where you want them, or you might lose them. See, I just lost that one actually, so I'll, I'd have to go in and just re-add it and just slowly and surely um, put it back in. So there's the odd glitch, especially uh, it's it happens really when you start adding a lot of of logos to one page. So you might want to limit it to about ten per page or so, or to to each group. Um, but yeah, so here if I go to um, let's say uh, Amazon, I can bookmark this multiple times, which is also a great feature with this system. I was playing around with the old bookmarks, which I haven't used in a while, and you can actually only bookmark something once. You can't even bookmark it more than that into different folders. So here, if you click on this, I'm gonna create a new group, and I'm just gonna call this new group, and you can just save it to that. So that's just showing you the groups as well. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to back this stuff up. So if you, you know, you're gonna put a lot of time and effort into doing this, so you wanna just have a place to, to save the file just in case. Um, if you do sign up for an account for about $5, their premium account, the Pro, um, they'll save it a file, I think, believe directly to their their website, so you know it's secure, but if you don't sign up for this, you, you, you're you kind of on your own and you can't guarantee that you'll have everything. I've had no issues, I haven't lost anything, but uh, it is nice just to have some peace of mind. So if you go into more options again, and in here you'll see uh, the import export uh, option. And if you just click on export, what it's gonna do is it creates a file um, that you can re-import again. So let's say you delete your this extension and then you wanna add it again at another date. Um, you can completely save all your files. You just click download as a file. Uh, it's gonna save that to your desktop. And then what you can do is you're gonna, if you ever wanna re-import it, you just click on import, and then you can copy the text from that file and paste it right back into the export, um, into this import settings, and then you can save it. It's also another way if you happen to wanna share the, this file or your all of your um, folders and, and files with someone else and your uh, bookmarks, you can actually share it with a friend. They just need to install um, the extension, the speed dial two, and then they can import all of your bookmarks. So it's kind of a nice way to share it as well. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it guys. Um, I hope you hope you get to use this and, and get organized. Um, this again is kind of what I use on a daily basis. It makes my surfing the internet way better and way more fun and way faster. Uh, it's one click instead of having to always type in your favorite websites and um, and it's just a great way to be organized for the new year. So thanks for watching and uh, that's gonna be it guys. Have a great day.